Hello guys and welcome to Cyber Gamer Source. If this is for the first time that you are visiting the channel, please make sure to like if the content is good and if it helps you out. And if you think that this channel desires a subscription from you, then please definitely do subscribe and hit that bell. That would mean a lot to me. And if you face any problems guys please comment down in the comment section i have been replying comments every single day whenever a notification pops up i go directly into youtube and reply every single comments down here and thank you guys for 8000 subscribers that really means a lot to me so guys free fire has been a really popular game right now and it has over 100 million downloads can you even imagine PUBG has 50 million downloads but if we think technically it is possible because Free Fire was launched like way before PUBG launched and Free Fire is a very small game 413 MB and PUBG is over 1.5 GB so a lot of people does not have space and that's why they would prefer Free Fire and it doesn't lag that much in Free Fire that I have played but in 0.7 update of PUBG the lags are going to be fixed so that's it let's start off guys so for the purpose of this video I would be showing you with the Logitech mouse so let's start off with the video so this is a wireless one but it has the USB right over here you connect it with uh, OTG guys and directly plug in and that should be the thing for your device if it does not directly connect then OTG is definitely not supported in your device or maybe the mouse is not so if certain problems are there this is the main reason that it is not supporting your device that's why so as you can see it is working out really well not using any fingers as you can see there and even in the intro i showed you guys it is not required like it is working there there i did not even click that and it just went inside right so that's it for how to connect your wired one right so now i will be showing you how you can connect a wireless one right with like no usb at all so for uh, uh ones that has no USB at all you need to go directly into your Bluetooth settings Bluetooth turn it on turn it on again and then what Bluetooth actually does is that when you have your mouse you can see there are like on and off button this is on this is off I think so you cannot see because it is not focusing I'll try focusing one more time okay now you can see on off so you turn your mouse off and then on again and then your device should pop up right over here your mouse and keyboard click both of them to pair and that should be how you should pair up your wireless ones but if you have a wired one then this is kind of wired one as well but if you have both of them your mouse and your keyboard wired you would definitely require one of this wires it should cost you around three to four dollars I'm not sure about that but it is around three to four dollars it cost me so you connect it with the right over here and you connect your mouse USB here and keyboard USB here vice versa and that is how you plug it in so now that is the connection part guys now you need an application because your phone is not the application is not going to be supporting your mouse and keyboard free fire pubg or any game is not going to support so you go to your play store guys and you search an octopus and download the application if you don't find the octopus app then i would leave a link in the description because most of the time for maintenance or different reasons octopus takes out their app out of the play store and also for i don't know why but they have different reasons as you can see you can connect your xbox 360 controller as well so that's 
key part with the download and the connection part is done. Now you go to Octopus app, open it up. If you don't see anything here, go to add games and just go to local games and then add your PUBG or Free Fire. So the video is for Free Fire so I would just add in Free Fire but I have to download the Free Fire entirely because it just installed. There is a one more package inside that would require a few times so that's why I have used PUBG for this video. So I hope you guys understand. So one device connected to USB Logitech USB receiver. So guys if you remove it, no device connected. And if you connect it, it is going to pop up again. If it does not pop up then definitely your mouse is not supporting your phone. So this is one problem that a lot of people face that is your phone is not reading your mouse or your gamepad. So that is one major problem. Let's just go and open up PUBG. So I have it opened up. Right? We are in training mode and we are already in training mode so you were killed in the last round. I played training match. How can I even get killed in training match? Okay, let's go in one more training and I will just show you guys the trick. So for mouse obviously you require like only this the movement 360 aiming and for shooting guys and for keyboard you connect it and you can definitely find out the keys what keys it requires so there guys it is a little bit of a problem because okay we are going to be taking in one gun there Gun. Now we can end up shooting something. Okay, let's go in and take in a scope. I guess let's take in a scope. I think I should put this behind something. Like let's just put it right over here. Right over here and zoom in a bit, guys. Okay guys, as you can see, now we are going to get in a scope, let's take one scope, let's take a sight, red dot sight, and now we can just shoot in. So this is like my second time, or that's why it is kind of a bit of a problem, but if I start playing it, then maybe I would get better at it, there you can see. That's it for the shooting part, it actually works out. So this is how you would connect it. So the main purpose of this video is how to connect it. And now as I have showed you guys the connection, now I can actually tell you guys about the different things that you can like add up, right? So guys one main problem that everyone actually has is that your device is not connecting and a lot of things are related to that if you are connecting a gamepad the thing is like spinning like this I will just show you guys it is spinning like this like 360 it is not stopping it is just 360 spin so if you have that problem guys in your gamepad when you connect it with the octopus app then that is definitely because one of your buttons is like messed up you need to go to a workshop and just fix that button guys and that should actually do it and one more thing guys I would not tell you to buy anything instantly as I have made this tutorial you might think that if I buy a logitech mouse or this or that then it should work out when you buy some device